Welcome to CIA News. I am Tish Pasoni, your host for the broadcast and chief editor at CIA News. This is our exclusive interview series with the startups in India on the topic of Zero Moment of Truth, a Shark Tank special edition. It is a recorded session and will be uploaded on our website, that is CIAnews.co.in, and our CIA News Network. It is my pleasure to invite our guest for today. We have Basim Kamran Selvik, uh, the founder at Adigo. Uh, Basim, congratulations and welcome to uh, the interview of CIA News. It is a pleasure to have you today. I'm really excited to have a conversation. My pleasure and uh, thank you for having me here. Awesome. Uh, Basim, we've heard of the brand. Uh, we understand what a hero does and it's, it's a great concept right uh, but it would be great if you could put it across once again for our uh, viewers sure sure uh, so uh, hi uh, uh, so we are uh, building a uh, t2c brand for uh, toys and developmental age focusing majorly on zero to three years and why zero to three years is because 80% of the brain development happens during those years. And uh, uh, primarily, uh, we wanted to focus, uh, stay focused on that uh, age group, uh, especially because uh, there was very less options when we uh, started up. And uh, that's why uh, we had, in fact, started this brand. Awesome. And um, how was your experience at Shark Tank? Yeah, Shark Tank uh, was absolutely, uh, uh, you know, putting at the old package, uh, uh, it was absolutely great. And uh, the outcomes of Shark Tank was amazing. But, uh, you know, one thing which we found difficult was Hindi. Me or my wife, who's a co-founder of our, right. we both didn't, do, do, not, do not know Hindi. In fact, we had to... Uh, translate uh, from English and speak uh, in Hindi. Apart and uh, you, you know the sharks were kind enough to accept. You know for this, uh, you know they were kind enough to translate a few things which we didn't understand. And apart right. from that, the whole experience, whole journey of Shark Tank from the time of uh, uh, the rehearsal. I mean, the, from the time of uh, selections to finals, it was a uh, entire uh, journey was uh, amazing, and we got to meet a lot of. Uh, bright uh, entrepreneurs, uh, you know, uh, with the different ideas on the show because there was only a very limited episode which was aired, and uh, there were so many others uh, who's uh, done a great job out there. Right, right. Uh, was, uh, we saw the episode, right? It, it's, it was very, it's very nice to see that, you know, the brand is appreciated, validated by sharks at such level, they, they would love the concept as well. So um, what, uh, when the offer was discussed, when you put across your ask and then you know, the negotiations were done, what was the thought behind and how did you come to a decision of uh, you know, uh See, to, to be very honest, we were there in Shark Tank uh, for more than funding. It was our mentorship and guidance. Uh, that was the need of an R for our hero. And uh, we were very clear from the beginning, you know, if you can ask my team at my office, they uh, will tell you that how big a fan I am for Piyu, Shaman, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, these are the two guys I always look upon. And there's uh, there's a couple of other D2C brand owners who have built this business. I mean, who have they built their brands? So when uh, we were, uh, I was very clear-headed when it comes to uh, the sharks, which which whom we wanted on board, you know, who can guide us uh, in this uh, process of brand building, etc. So uh, so we had that in mind uh, before pitching itself. Okay, we knew that these are the sharks we wanted. Uh, so. That's where they can uh, bring a lot of expertise to the table. So, so when there was four offers which was offered, uh, we chose uh, you know these four uh, sharks uh, to come on board. With us. And was, how has the functioning changed? You know, coming back by 
Yeah, uh, so uh, it gave us a lot of light. Uh, first of all, our vendor stack, uh, besides the orders which flowed in, uh, there's a Shark Tank blip which happens uh, two weeks from the, uh, uh, from uh, uh, you know telecasting the this uh, telecasting the episode. Uh, there is a lot of vendor stack uh, contacted us across the country, and uh, it has given us a lot of new lights. There's a lot of inquiries both from abroad and uh, uh, India, and a lot of preschool B two B inquiries is also improved. In terms of Aman and Piyush, what they bring to we have a WhatsApp group. Me, Aman, Piyush, and uh, my uh, I mean our co-founder. Everybody put together, we have a WhatsApp group and we tend to clarify our doubts then and there, uh, you know, uh, but they are very quick in their response. Last week I was with them in Delhi and discussing our plans to way forward for this financial year, etc. Uh, so one thing is that a bit more than before, we have a, uh, you know, a lot of work to do and uh, a lot of responsibilities. There was... There was a lot of confusions uh, with us because we don't have such experience what those guys have already gone through. So the direction is much easier that way. Awesome. And uh, tell us, uh, you know, how, what was the most happiest moment? Uh, as Ariro as the whole? Uh, so, uh, before starting Ariro, I had another startup. Okay? I was uh, doing my own business. So, somewhere uh, down the line, I would require two to three uh, vacations a year, uh, you know, for me to regenerate and come back to, uh, you know, maintain my equanimity. Uh, from the time Ariro was born, like June 2020, uh, we never had a vacation. So, that, that's the way I spend every day. Yeah. So there is no need to, uh, there is no, not somebody pushing me out of the bed every day to come for work. I, every day it's a learning and uh, it's a lot of excitement happens inside that. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, while there are happy moments, there are challenging things about that. Uh, and as entrepreneurs, we face daily challenges and then we work upon them. Our days literally start with the craft up and then goes down. That, that's how days are. So tell us uh, your most challenging times uh, during the journey. Uh, during the journey of our hero, uh, one thing was very hard for me was like we had this hero, hero product. Like we were the first ones in India to introduce this product called Pickler Triangle. And uh, so that was doing so well for us. And uh, we had in fact, uh, you know, went a step ahead and we thought we will change the materials and give them uh, much more uh, broader uh, rods because this tri this triangle has uh, 11 rods and we wanted to you know upgrade it to to a 2.0 apparently uh, the we did some sampling and things like that uh, since wood is a natural material uh, we didn't uh, we didn't know there was no oil contents in that wood that was a complete uh, mishap where uh, more than 40 kilos, if that's, there is a rod, uh, a kid is standing, the rod tends to break. It, 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 it tends to give in. So uh, we had, it was a best selling and we shipped all over India, like uh, more than 100. And each part, each, like for us a startup and it's a bootstrap startup, we grow by internal approvals. And when we had shipped that 100 and we got this first two feedbacks from the customer, these rods are mixed up among this 11 rods, like yeah, 11 different rods. And we really didn't know what to do. And we had to, can't take a chance as well because we are, a, these are the kids who are playing with it. So we had to recall uh, every, every 100 units because each parcel is around uh, more than 10 kilos from all over India. We had to backtrack it. We didn't have system in place as well at that point of time. So that uh, that was a though there was a financial strain. More than that, we wanted to make sure that you know the kids excited and they get as soon as you get it home, they tend to play with it. We couldn't uh, really stop it, but uh, there was no bad incident and we could it, uh, do it successfully. Now again, we had uh, done uh, more than ten trials to come up with a better product, and we have uh, achieved it. Now it's a bestseller again. We have shipped over thousand units. So that was a learning take a learning from that. From there on, 
uh, we learned the process much better. This happened for good, but uh, at that time it was a huge financial strain coming. Uh, and another thing was while brand building, right? Like uh, you know, this, this that's why the Arira was known for like the Piccolo triangles was a bestseller. So this mistake could have uh, cost us. Uh, uh, you know, uh, some uh, you know down. It, it should have it 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 actually pushed uh, down the ladder because there was two or three uh, bad reviews right. and uh, we had to uh, face it and talk to them and replace it. And uh, now again, it's a bestseller and you know uh, that awesome. was a process. That was the challenges we faced. And I awesome. think uh, now awesome. things are okay. Awesome, awesome. Like I said, you know, every day we come up with something innovative and there are challenges and there's been so so um, good. Uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, wasn't um, tell us what does the future look like uh, for the company now? Yeah. So uh, we were a pure play D two C site. Uh, Eighty percent of the revenue comes through our own website. We were not present aggressively in the marketplace. So uh, we didn't explore that opportunity itself uh, because of Shark Tank. There is a lot of uh, uh, visibility we had got. So we are trying to leverage this marketplace platforms like Amazon or uh, Flip, uh, Amazon and First Cry, etc. So there we are expanding our product ranges. Uh, we are in, we are already in First Cry and uh, Pepper Fry. Now we are setting up our own brand store in Amazon, and we should be live anytime soon. Uh, the other thing we are setting up is we have set up an experience center in Chennai, uh, so that people come and uh, play. Uh, and then buy the products online. That's the concept of an experience center. And uh, so we are setting up the same thing now in Bangalore, uh, 100 feet road. Lenskart, in fact, has given us a space in their 100 feet road to set up uh, this. So we are setting up in multiple mel metros like Delhi and Bombay. Uh, subsequently, we are starting. Uh, and uh, we are also entering UAE market uh, with uh, direct shipping. So we've just tied up with uh, and we are starting from next month. The UAE market will start off. And from three product launches a month, we have shifted to five product launches a month. And our growth rate is 5% month on month intact. Uh, so these are the plans we have. And we are also now the schools are opened up, right? Like the preschools are opened up post COVID. So there we have a lot of business which is coming in. Great. Um, great. How do you see the technology helping you in this uh, business growth? So uh, we are a pure play D2CC. When we started uh, Arido, when we wanted to start, uh, we didn't know what channel to take uh, for distribution. So on a trial error method, we went to offline retailing. And that game is a very difficult game to play because there's huge margins, this distributors and uh, you know the shop owners take. And for us, as a new brand, it is it becomes very difficult in terms of cash flow, 45 days credit, etc. Yeah. Without technology, we couldn't, uh, Arero wouldn't be there now. And uh, it was the most, uh, uh, you know, this method of T2C, the director customers helped us yeah. to reach the, uh, there is no middleman in between. So whatever we produce, plus our margins and marketing cost, etc. And go, we we uh, send it to the customers so there is a price attractive price point uh, customer gets a product so uh, it, to put it in a nutshell uh, D, uh, d2c has been a good revolution by itself and uh, we were uh, we embraced it quite early on like you know to, uh, when we had started like 2020 uh, that time we didn't know what was the distribution to take. Uh, COVID happened, then we choose this. That's how it came. It, you know, we didn't know what uh, channel to take itself uh, uh, at that point of time. I think uh, that was a, one of the most wisest decisions we took, and we uh, stand by it till today. Awesome, awesome. Uh, great, Vasan. I think it's a pleasure uh, interacting with you all this while great insights thank you so much for joining us today my one last question before we end the episode uh, any uh, learnings that you would like to share with entrepreneurs who are seeking funding uh, in the journey so any learnings best practices that you can share sure so uh, what has helped me uh, uh, to be very uh, uh, to be transparent is 
every uh, business has its own culture every business has its own uh, you know own system of thinking own uh, it has its own soul uh, right. so we we getting in, we though we try to imbibe a practice which is done in other businesses uh, that's not uh, actually possible because if that was possible there there, there must be many apples and many microsoft by now yeah. each and every company is unique Uh, so what is required like you know stay as fat free as possible and what is required for your company what's the soul of the company just identify that and just focus on that uh, there is lot of deviations today there's lot of black holes uh, so try and avoid those traps because there is lot of enabling system which is come into place which is unnecessary and we tend to burn a lot of money in marketing and etc so please ensure that you stick to what is required for your business Uh, and uh, remain fat free and grow grow it uh, organically is what uh, i would suggest that's that's wonderful. what i practice i don't know <laughs> wonderful oh, this is a great insight i think uh, very rightly said and there lot of deviation and uh, you know tend to uh, you know get not focus to our business and start thinking other ways of uh, you know thinking for this but great insights Thank you so much, Vasant, for joining us today on this episode and talking to us and our viewers. Um, we'll we'll stay connected and looking forward to having more conversations with you in the future. Definitely, it was my pleasure as well speaking to you. Thank you so much for. Thank you. I think. Bye. Bye.